The four hours at Monza got underway at 11 o'clock this morning under glorious blue skies in this part of northern Italy, just a stone's throw from the centre of Milan. And uh, what a sight it made with 42 cars pounding their way towards that very tight chicane. Unfortunately, there was always going to be a bit of a pinch point, and it came when Sally Jolic went for a move on Henrik Hedman. It's, there was contact, and Hedman into the side of Richard Bradley. The two cars spinning to the inside of the chicane. Shakes of the head up and down pit lane for those teams involved. And actually, some a good reversing manoeuvre from Richard Bradley made sure that both cars could at least stay on the lead lap. That freed up Henrik Hedman to get going again in the Dragon Speed USA car. Then, a little bit later on, the battling within the GTE ranks began. 88, uh, AF Corsa car, started by Francois Perodo, who just overcooked things a little bit into the second chicane and needed to thread his way through the rather large sausage curbs, although took to the correct place to then do that safe rejoin. And then, finally, a change of lead in LMP2. Phil Hansen tried that manoeuvre a number of times prior on Roman Rusinov, but it finally came off into Turn 1. And then Yifei Ye ran the outside into the Ascari chicane uh, to pluck uh, the position away from Roman Rusinov. This brought out a safety car, which was the spin for the 77 Porsche into the gravel trap. Uh, and after being pushed down the pit lane partially by the 24 car, the 26 would finally make it into the pits, but with zero fuel in the tank. They did get the car back into the race. Side by side in LMP3, Rob Weldon got the position on the Inter-Europol competition car. At the time was being driven uh, by Martin Hipper. Then there was a spin for Sebastian Page at the Ascari chicane, and that would bring out a full course yellow, which would just sedate uh, things briefly. And the 65 car for Panis Racing emerging as our unlikely early leader because the 65 and the 22 were told to pit just before the, the safety car and before, crucially, the pit lane had been closed. Really good dicing again between a couple of Ferraris. What else would you expect in the uh, home of the Tifosi here at Monza? The six car off into the gravel at Lesmo 1 after a clash with the number four car. Uh, but uh, that was judged to be the fault of Austin McCusker in car number six, so didn't affect our, uh, affect our uh, eventual winners in the number four car in that Nemo livery for Mathieu de Barbois and uh, DKR engineering teammate Laurence Hoare. But a first ever win in the European Le Mans series for Panis Racing. So congratulations to Julien Canal, Will Stevens and James Allen, who win it by five seconds over United Autosports and the Jota car guesting from the World Endurance Championship. It's been a thoroughly entertaining afternoon for the four hours at Monza as the ELMS now takes a two-month break for Le Mans. Well, what an afternoon as we see the Panis Racing car, the 65, with 125 laps completed, just five seconds of the gap between those two cars. A little bit of luck, a little bit of great strategy, put us into a battle that could have actually, well, put us in a position that could have killed this race, but it didn't because those two cars battled to the flag. Behind Team WRT, saw off, uh, was seen off, uh, sorry, failed to see off the battle, the battling Jota sport car. LMP3, DCAR Engineering, soft it out. Uh, as all things fell, to, uh, fell apart around them and mm. could not be caught by United Autosports into Europol competition, taking the final podium slot on the last lap. And an emotional win in the GTE class from the 55 Spirit of Race Ferrari, David Perel, a fabulous final stint to see off the challenge of Miguel Molina in the number 80 Iron Lynx car with the 88 car, the AF Corsa car, Alessio Rivera bringing that car home to complete the podium. No shortage whatsoever there, Johnny Palmer, with 42 cars starting this race, 41 of them finishing this race. Just the number seven Nielsen racing car. We don't know what happened there, but uh, Colin Noble uh, pitting the car into retirement. Um, no shortage of battling in every single class. And we shouldn't forget, by the way, the LMP2 AM class, uh, Pro-AM class, 25 car bringing home another uh, class win there.